Tina, walk me through what's on the table and who's pushing for what this time around. Well, it's, it's been interesting. Everything we've heard leading up to this meeting until this weekend was to expect kind of more of the same, that we should expect to see the uh, production quotas continue. It could be extended possibly into December of 2020. Over the weekend, however, we had the Iraqi oil minister throw a little bit of a, of a wrench into the works and basically say that he thought that they should begin talking about a 400,000 barrel additional cut on top of that. Mind you, we are talking about a 2020 where even by OPEC's own numbers, they are forecasting a supply glut in the early part of next year. Uh, what's interesting about this is that the Iraqis have not actually been holding to existing production quotas. So for them to be pushing for another cut seems a little bit outside of the norm. And in fact, we've seen notes this morning that suggest uh, an additional cut seems unlikely, but that we should uh, look for a six month to nine month or even 12 month extension of the existing status quo. Tina, what are the Russians saying about all of this? The Russians have said basically that they don't expect a decision to be made until about April. So what you're hearing from both the Saudis and the Russians, who I think most people would argue are the two most important voices on this topic, are that they don't expect any major decisions to come out of this meeting. And the Saudis have actually been telling our reporters that they are looking to uh, make sure that the people are abiding by existing quotas rather than allowing them to continue to cheat and the Saudis make up the bulk of the difference.